Hey, welcome back everybody. Thanks for joining me again today. If we've never met before, my name is Sharon and I'm happy that you're here studying with me today. All right, so this is our second video in our series of the most common errors that um, my students make in English. Um, and it's a pretty simple one, but uh, it's one that's difficult to break because it becomes a habit once we've done it so long. And it's the difference between it and its. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so here are three different sentences. Take a look and see if you can figure out the problem. So the first one, it's mean that you can do it tomorrow. Hmm, any idea? It should be, it means that you can do it tomorrow. Not it's mean, but it means. All right, so thinking about that, can you figure out what the problem is with the second one? Hope you could figure out that it's, it depends on what you want to do, not it's depend, no. And the third one, can you do it? It should be, it takes a long time, not it's take, okay? So the reason, um, the difference between using it and its, so it's when it, there's an apostrophe, it means it is. So when we break that apart, is it correct to say it is mean that you can do it tomorrow? That is not correct, right? So what does the simple present look like? We know that the simple present doesn't look like this, right? Simple present has an S on the end if it's singular or it does not have an S if it's plural like um, they or we. Um, all right, Woo. sorry, <laughs> there goes my pen. Okay, so, uh, so we know that it's mean is not correct. I'm also going to add on here that we also know that it can't be it's without the um, apostrophe um, because that is possessive. And as you can see here, this is not a noun. Noun? No. This is a verb. Okay, so that also doesn't work. So the trick in figuring out if it's it or its is to think about the part of, this, the part of speech that comes after it or its. So if I say, it's nice that you waited. What part of speech is nice? It's an adjective, right? Let me write that down. That's an adjective. Okay. How about it's easy to make friends when you share a meal? Also true. Also an adjective, right? So same idea. What about it's the book that you bought? Okay, so here we have a noun. And pointing out what is the main verb in these is okay all of these mean it is it is nice it is easy it is the book it's over on the table what part of speech is this this is a preposition okay so in all of these the main verb is is main verb is not another kind of is not another verb so that's the main difference um, if you can remember that you have it um, so it plus a verb that is not is you're going to have the verb and plus s assuming that you're in simple present If you're talking about the past, you're going to have it depended or it meant or something like that. All right, so um, when you have is as the main verb, then you have your apostrophe like this. It's, it's the book. It's nice. It's easy. 
it's under, it's over. All right, you ready for some practice? Hopefully I don't lose my pencil this time, or pen, not a pencil. Actually, it's not even a pen, it's like, it's a stylus, it's a computer pen. All right, so is it it or it's? I have six here. I want you to pause the video, write your answers on a piece of paper, and then when you're ready, start me up again and we'll go over the answers. You ready? All right, so a new song. Hmm. Well, we know that this here is a noun phrase. We have an article, adjective, and a noun. So we're going to have it's. Hmm, under your bed. Preposition and a noun. Okay, so it's another it's. Um, hmm, mean that you need to come early. It's. No, it and s. It means that you need to come earlier. All right, four, pretty. It should be it's because you need a main verb. If you just say it pretty, you don't have a main verb. About five. This should be it takes 10 minutes to cook. Six. It makes me tired. Okay. All right. Another round. You ready? So pause the video again. Do seven through 12. All right. Here we go. Number seven. We see here that this is a noun. The best way adjective noun, noun phrase. So it's. What about eight? It costs, because this is your main verb, right? This one is, it's next to the couch, 10. It needs a new introduction, 11, difficult. It's, and boring. It's, <clears throat> that reminds me, <laughs> we should do a video about the difference between bored and bored, be boring and bored, because my students confuse that a lot and it makes for a very funny conversation. All right, so tally up your points and how did you do? If you got 10 to 12, you understand the difference pretty well. It's pretty much developing the habits so that you are usually using these forms accurately. Seven through nine is you understand the difference, but you need more practice in using the forms correctly. And if it's less than seven, don't freak out. You're still learning. So keep reviewing your parts of speech. And I also recommend that you listen to and read lots and lots of English, because the more that you see uh, correct, accurate English, the more your brain is going to recognize when there is a problem. All right. Thanks for joining me again today, and I'll see you next time.